In this video, we will review some of the properties of real numbers while simplifying expressions. In the first expression, we are given negative 27a plus negative 48 plus 27a. Notice negative 27a and positive 27a are opposites. We know the sum of opposites is zero. Let's rewrite the expression writing the opposite terms next to each other by changing the order of this sum here. When we change the order of the sum, we are using the commutative property of addition shown here. The given expression is equivalent to negative 27a, and then changing the order of the sum, we have plus 27a plus negative 48. Now adding the opposite terms, negative 27a plus 27a is equal to zero, and this is the additive inverse property shown here as three plus negative three equals zero. So negative 27a plus 27a is zero. The expression simplifies to zero plus negative 48, and we know zero plus negative 48 is equal to negative 48. When we have a sum involving zero though, this is the additive identity property shown here as zero plus three equals three, and three plus zero equals three. For the next expression, we have a product of three fractions, but notice how 7 fifteenths and 15 sevenths are reciprocals. We should recognize the product of these two fractions is equal to one. Let's write the fractions that are reciprocals next to each other by changing the order of the multiplication, which is the commutative property of multiplication shown here. The given expression is equivalent to 7 fifteenths times 15 sevenths times 8 twenty-thirds. From here we should recognize the product of the reciprocals is equal to one. This simplifies to one times 8 twenty-thirds. If we do want to show some work though, by simplifying out the common factors between the numerators and denominators, there's one seven and seven here and here, and there's one 15 and 15 here and here. Again, verifying the product is one. This is also the multiplicative inverse property shown here as three times one third equals one, or more clearly, if we write three as a fraction with the denominator of one, we can see the product of two reciprocals is equal to one. And then finally, one times eight twenty-thirds equals eight twenty-thirds. When we have a product of two numbers involving one, this is the multiplicative identity property which is shown here as three times one equals three, as well as one times three equals three. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have a sum of three fractions, but notice how three eighths and five eighths have the same denominator or a common denominator. Let's write the fractions with the same denominator next to each other by changing the order of the addition, which once again is the commutative property of addition. The given expression is equivalent to three eighths plus five eighths plus seven fifteenths. From here, notice three eighths plus five eighths is equal to eight eighths, which is equal to one. The expression simplifies to one plus seven fifteenths, which as a mixed number is one and seven fifteenths. If we did want this as an improper fraction, the denominator remains 15, and the numerator is going to be 15 times one plus seven, 15 times one is 15, plus seven is 22. For the next expression, we have 5.58c plus 8.75c plus 1.25c. In its current form, we would simplify inside the parentheses first, but if we take a look at these two c terms, because 8.75 plus 1.25 is equal to 10, it would be easier to find this sum first. Let's change the parentheses of the grouping symbols using the associative property of addition shown here, where the quantity two plus three plus four equals two plus the quantity three plus four. So applying the associative property of addition, the given expression is equivalent to 5.58c plus the quantity 8.75c plus 1.25c. Now simplifying inside the parentheses, Again, because 8.75 plus 1.25 is 10, 8.75c 
plus 1.25c equals 10c. The expression simplifies to 5.58c plus 10c. And because 5.58 plus 10 is 15.58, 5.58 c plus 10 c is 15.58 c. Let's look at one more expression. Here we have grouping symbols around the product of 1.17 and 4, then this is multiplied by 2.25. Following the order of operations, if we leave the grouping symbols the way they are now, 1.17 times 4 gives us a decimal, then we have to multiply that decimal by 2.25. But notice how four times 2.25 would give us a whole number. Four times 2.25 is equal to nine. So let's change the grouping of this product using the associative property multiplication shown here. So instead of grouping the 1.17 and four, let's group the four and the 2.25. Applying the associative property multiplication the given expression is equivalent to 1.17 times the quantity four times 2.25. Again, this is helpful because four times 2.25 is equal to nine. Following the order of operations, the expression simplifies to 1.17 times nine. And let's find this final product on the side. We have 1.17 times nine Multiplying by nine, nine times seven is 63. Record the three, perform an exchange with the six. Nine times one is nine, plus six is 15. Record the five, perform an exchange with the one. Nine times one is nine, plus one is 10. Because 1.17 has two decimal places and nine has zero decimal places, two plus zero is two. The product must contain two decimal places the product is 10.53. I hope you found this helpful.